What's up guys, Bill here from Evil Olive. I uh, just want to do a real quick video on something that I had come up with. Uh, we had this idea for a decontamination room to do in our haunt this year since we're going to have a hospital theme. So what we're thinking is people are going to come into a room and the doors are going to shut and up above I want to have a fog machine that when someone hits a button, a warning light, beacon light is going to go off and then there's just going to be this rush of fog down over everyone. Now there are companies that sell hoses that have these Venturi nozzles in it and what that essentially does is you have an air compressor that where it is coming out through a nozzle, it will pull extra air in from behind it like a vacuum. Boost that pressure to give that good pow factor like a burst pipe or whatever. However, this is going to be kind of far back in our haunt. And one, I don't want to get a small little pancake compressor because it's going to be running all the time. And two, I don't want to run line out there because by the time I run line from my big compressor, the, the amount of air pressure at the very end is going to be less. So what I had looked into and found is this. This is a inline uh, booster for HVAC, for uh, air conditioning or heating ducting. And what this is, is it's just a little metal fan with a motor. And this happens to be a six inch model because I have a six inch pipe. So all that I'm gonna do is just slide this in here. It's powered by 110. So that's gonna be on a prop controller that's hooked up to my fog machine for when it's activated. And this particular fan pushes about 260 CFM. Uh, so that's a good amount of air, and with this being a little bit bigger in the back, that's going to pull extra air in, plus the fog machine pushing out. So what I'm going to do, I'll move the camera and show you guys what it looks like without that fan in there, and then with that fan in there. And I also have this built, which is uh, just going to go on the, on the end of the pipe here, and this is just going to kind of hang down, but this will help to make the fog kind of span out a little bit, uh, just to redirect it. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to uh, hook the machine up. Um, there is a chance I'll be using the Chauvet 1301 because that's a 20,000 CFM. That's the one I'm going to use in the demonstration just because it's more obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and move this all real quick and then we'll do a little demo and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so that's about it. Um, as you can see, it, it pushed it out. I, I hope the angles I got were, were somewhat good enough. But it, it pushed it out about twice as fast as it was before. Now, it doesn't have that instant pop like compressed air does. But like I said, for us personally, um, and some of you too, if you don't have a spare compressor, you don't want to run the extra line. Uh, you don't want to deal with the noise of a compressor going on if, you, if your scenes are real close together and you've got a small pancake one um, you know, specific for that area. This is a great idea. You can use like a box fan if you want, but it just doesn't push enough. This is small and compact, and if you've got it going into a tube of some sort, it gets a good pressure uh, because the, the fan blades are so close to the outside housing. So uh, I'll put a link to this in the, uh, in the description below um, or right up here somewhere if I can. But um, if you just search on eBay, hardware stores even have them. Um, I'm in a small rural town, so they weren't real popular by me, but if you're near a bigger city, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's probably even has these. But uh, I just got it online. I think this was about 20 bucks. Uh, so a good investment for it. And like I said, any, anything else where you're trying to direct airflow, pulling you know, fog or haze out of an area, pushing it to another, anything like that, this is a really good idea instead of using compressed air. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like us and follow us on Facebook at Evil Olive Productions for more videos on stuff like this. I'm going to have a lot more coming out uh, as we get closer to haunt season on what we're doing at our haunt. So once again, I'm Bill, and thanks for thinking inside the jar.